Okay. So this time you should have remembered that again, the diagonal elements of a triangular matrix are its eigenvalues. And then once you subtract off the eigenvalue from the diagonal, you should be able to reduce the system to row echelon form and find the eigenvectors associated with the eigenvalues, or you may be able to do this by examination. So remember that in order to find the eigenvalues of a two by two matrix, what you had to do was use the determinant of the matrix. And in particular, you would look at the determinant of the matrix where you subtract off lambda from its diagonal. You set that equal to zero. That's known as the characteristic polynomial. If you then remember that the uh, determinant is given by that value times that value minus this value times that value, you get this right here. And then that's a second degree polynomial in lambda. And then you can find the roots of that polynomial in order to find the eigenvalues. But the question then is, is there such a thing as a determinant for a three by three matrix? And is it the case that when the determinant is equal to zero, then the matrix is singular? And the answer is yes. Now we're not going to talk about where that determinant actually comes from and why it's defined the way it is. Let's just go and look at how to compute it. And how do you do that? The way I like to do it is you take your matrix, that's three by three, you write it down, and then you repeat the first and second column to its right as you know, sort of like an appended system. And then what do you do? Then you multiply these values together, add them to these values, multiply together, add it to these values, multiply together. That gives you this expression right here. Multiply these together, you get this, add that to these, that's this, add them to these, that's this, and then take that entire expression and subtract it off of the expression that you had computed before. If you now take your matrix A and you subtract off lambda times I, you get this matrix right here. And what you would like to do is compute the determinant of that. And if you do that, you get this expression right here. Now, the important thing here is that when you multiply these three together, you get this and you recognize that that's a third degree polynomial. To that, you add a scalar and another scalar. That means you still have a third degree polynomial. If you look at the second expression, this is a first degree polynomial, a first degree polynomial, and another first degree polynomial. So now all of that together is a first degree polynomial. Subtracted off of a third degree polynomial leaves you with a third degree polynomial. This is a third degree polynomial. It has the form lambda to the third power plus something times lambda squared plus something times lambda plus something. And that then you set equal to zero and you try to find the roots of that. Notice also that if this matrix has real valued entries, then all of the coefficients, if you work it out, are going to be real valued as well. Let's look at an example. Uh, of how to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of matrix A. Here is a very simple matrix. If we take A and we subtract off lambda times the identity, we get this right here. If we now ask what its determinant is, let's actually do one carefully. You have this matrix that looks like this. What I told you to do was to repeat the first two columns. And then what you want to do is multiply these together. That gives you a one minus lambda to the third power. Multiply these together plus one. Multiply these together plus one. And then you want to subtract out. Multiply these together. You get one minus lambda. Add to that multiplying those together. You get another one minus lambda. And multiply these together. You get another one minus lambda. And that now is your polynomial. Okay, what I just did is here minus this. And then if we manipulate this, we get this third degree polynomial, which you can simplify to this polynomial right here. All of this ends up being this first degree polynomial. Take this, subtract it off of that, you get that. And then finally, you find out that that is your third degree polynomial.
So you want to find the roots of that, but finding the roots of this you can actually do by examination. It's easy to see that lambda equals 3 is a root and lambda equals 0 is what's called a double root. No, so now we have the eigenvalues and what we want to do is to find the eigenvectors associated with those eigenvalues. So we'll leave finding the eigenvectors associated with lambda equals 0 as an exercise and together we'll look at the case where lambda is equal to 3. Again, here's the characteristic polynomial. Lambda equals 0 is a double root. We're going to look at lambda equals 3, which is the, uh, the third root. In order to find an eigenvector associated with that, all we do is subtract 3 from the diagonal. And what we get is this matrix right here. And then we could reduce that matrix to row echelon form and find a vector in the null space, or we can do what I like to do, which is to examine this matrix and see if we can find uh, the vector by examination. Now, the question here is how do you take linear combinations of these columns in order to produce the zero vector? And if you look at this carefully, if you take one times this column and add it to that column and add it to that, to that column, then you actually get the zero vector. So we conclude by examination that 1, 1, 1 is an eigenvector associated with lambda equal to 3. So in summary, in order to compute the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a 3 by 3 matrix, what you do is you form the characteristic polynomial, you find the roots, there are typically three, although they may not all be distinct, and then you find vectors in the null space of the matrix when you subtract one by one of the diagonal.